An elderly Ukrainian woman has become the new and somewhat unlikely face of Kremlin propaganda. In Russia, she is known as Babushka Z, Babushka meaning grandmother. Murals, placards and even statues of her clutching the Soviet flag have appeared all over the country. But how did a woman from a small Ukrainian village become the face of the war for many Russians? And what does she make of all the fuss? Our reporter, Sofia Batitsa, travelled to Kharkiv to meet her. Grandmother with the Soviet flag. In Russia, she is known as Babushka Z and has become one of the main symbols of support for the war in Ukraine. It all started with this video back in April. Babushka walks towards two Ukrainian soldiers. They offer her some food. Then they take the flag off her and stamp on it. So the woman, feeling insulted, gives back the food. My parents died for that flag. She says, for the Kremlin, this was propaganda gold dust, a rare example of a Ukrainian who regrets the collapse of the Soviet Union and looks at Russians as liberators. Within days, Babushka started to appear everywhere in Russia. Murals, drawings, clothes, toys, bumper stickers, poems and songs dedicated to her. Russian officials even unveiled a statue of her in Mariupol. In a small village near Kharkiv, we tracked down Babushka. Her name is Anna. This is the flag of peace and love, not of bloodshed. We show her photos of her fame, and she is gobsmacked. I don't think they should glorify me. I'm just a peasant woman. I don't understand why I've become a celebrity. So why did Anna greet Ukrainian soldiers with a Soviet flag? She says she confused them with Russian soldiers. I was just happy that Russians would come and not fight with us. I was happy we would unite again. Russia, Ukraine and Belarus. Do you support what Russia is doing in Ukraine? Yes. No. How can I support my people dying? My grandchildren and great-grandchildren were forced to escape to Poland. This is fear and horror. And here, just outside, you can see shells fired by the Russians. So even though in Moscow she's become a star and a symbol of supposed Russian liberation, her village has not been spared by Vladimir Putin's forces. Anna is being attacked online. All her neighbours shun her. Do you regret becoming a symbol in Russia? Of course, I'm not happy about it. I'd much rather not be famous, because now in Ukraine they consider me a traitor. As we say goodbye to her, Anna tries to give us her beloved red flag. I don't want any trouble, she says. I don't want people to ever use it against me. Sofia Betiza, BBC News, Kharkiv.